Um. What? What? What the? Okay. What, what the shit? <laughs> Oh my god! Alright, so we have a little bit of a different intro before we get into these videos. I just want to make mention now that one, these videos were pre-recorded before the Velociraptor update, so the Hyperex was still a thing, but it is no longer a thing with current patches. Velociraptor obviously was not a thing. Uh, the Rex actually, the Rex gameplay and sub-adult Rex was during the Velocal update and uh, all that fun stuff, but just for the Juvi Rex, this is obviously before that update because it was recorded before the update. Um, we go right through in this series, right to the adult Rex, and, uh, well, some cool shit happens dur during this entire- I think it's gonna be, like, three videos, I think, I'm gonna have in total for these, and they're also recorded with people because, well, I'm too much of a pleb to, uh, get to adult Rex on my own. So I apologize if these videos are a little bit wonky, the format is a little bit weird and not what I'm used to dealing with, but if you guys enjoy the aisle, as always, please remember to leave a like on the video because it helps me out an absolute dick ton, and you guys have been absolutely killing it. Hopefully you guys enjoy this mini series and uh yeah, let's uh let's let's just play it. Right. The hey, hell? Over. Did you fall on a tar pit or something? What the it. shit? Hey, what, what the heck? heck? What the heck? Can I just okay, so go ahead. Ooh, that <laughs> oh my god. Cool. Oh, oh that's the blood geez. effect, yeah. Oh, Andy, such a small... oh for fuck's sake. Thank you. Oh, that is so yeah. cool. Ooh, what one? Really? Welcome, Kimmy, welcome, welcome, welcome. Nice job. Oh, 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 I want to see. Don't kill it. I want to see. Don't kill it. Let's pat. Let's go around it. Let's Don't play kill with it. it. Don't kill it. We can taunt it. Wait, what's your food? <laughs> the other one. The white elephant. I, I the almost want to let elephant. it live and let, like be a life lesson for it. He's sitting down. Let's Poor all little sit guy. around it. It's Wait, like... don't sit around it. <laughs> <laughs> Started break dancing. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. You you Ooh. missed. How the shit did you do that? Well, That's how you oh hit someone. God. Oh god. You're god damn now. it. Uh, I don't yeah. want to be stuck here. Let me go. Let me go. Ah. No, 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 no. Don't bite my tail. Don't bite my tail. Screw you. I'm rotating too fast. No, no. <laughs> god damn it. Yeah, from over here, Let me you go. Really oh, no. How does it feel, no, no, no. it feel to be teased? Uh. All right, so we've got 107 points now as a Juvi Rex, and yes, I'm doing a Rex progression now. It's gonna be really crappy to be an adult Rex, and I'm saying that because, like, you can deal with herbivores really easily, but the problem is Carnos and, like, Aloes and stuff. That's the biggest problem I'm gonna have to deal with, and it's also the shittiest thing I'm gonna have to deal with, because, uh, if, if a Carno or an Aloe gets on your ankles and you're a Rex, you're basically done for. Like, there is next to nothing you can do to uh, get out of that. Also, I want to make mention now that hypos are a thing again. Uh, well, at least right now until the patch comes out. Um, if a hypo can make it to water right away, well, then they're basically safe and they're good to do whatever they need to do, basically. Being because I saw one earlier during this progression, but we're 108 points in now and we're almost ready to go to sub-adult. Not exactly sure how long I'm going to survive as sub-adult. I might make it to Rex. I'm not entirely sure, though, but I have, like, I actually haven't done progression as a sub-adult before. So I think that's going to be really freaking cool to check out and see what the gameplay is like for the sub-adult. I mean, like, it's, it's a sub-adult Rex and, like, I know they're fairly weak, but, like... Some other people might not know that, or we might, like, be able to take on other mid-tier carnivores and stuff, because, I mean, it is on the same tier, and I, I don't know about the weight scale, but... I mean, I would assume a sub-adult could probably scare off, like, a carno or an aloe if it can keep it, you know, like, keep its attention focused on it and stuff. As well, I'll be going over some of the concepts for different houses that I have on Discord. They're freaking amazing, dude. There are giant structures, and I can't wait to show you guys that stuff, but that's going to be a little bit later on in this video. Right now, we're just going to go ahead, progress to sub-adult, see if we can do our little sub-adult thing, whatever. Uh, I'm willing to bet we're going to get a 600 coordinate when we progress, but hey, uh, let's uh, let's just move to the point where I, I get all my points. Yeah. All right, so we're at 119 points now, and uh, we're doing pretty good on hunger and thirst. Now, from what I've seen so far, you don't really need to eat, like, maybe eat once just to be safe as a sub or as a juvie to make it to sub-adult, because you get 60 hunger right off uh, right off the bat starting out. So, I mean, that works out pretty good. I'm going to wait for my progression screen to come up now so I can uh, get to sub-adult. Hopefully, we don't get a 600 coordinate, because that's going to suck major ass if we do get a 600 coordinate, and uh, I don't really feel like running a long distance. With my luck, what's going to happen is we're going to progress, and we're going to die instantly. Just Watch this. Uh, oh my god, we got a 600 coordinate. No, why are we so small? I feel really small as this guy. 1300 health, 90 hunger, 60 thirst. Alright, so we have a decent number of uh, hunger anyways. Oh god. This little this little devil right here. Oh boy. Alright, we're gonna start running towards uh, 
our group. Hopefully, we don't get picked off along the way because it's going to suck ass. But seeing 1,300 health, I don't think we will be able to take on an aloe, to be honest with you guys. We might be, like, the same size or a little bit bigger, so they might not mess with us. I feel like our camera's really wonky, too. What the hell? Weird shit. All right, let's, let's keep going and see what happens. We're walking perfectly in sync. You yeah. guys are walking while I'm uh, in danger? Trotting. Yeah, trotting. <laughs> I mean... Yeah. You guys are trotting while I'm in <laughs> You don't have stam. I don't either. Wait, I do actually. I mean, yeah, the, it was sitting and then the aloe came up and started biting the crap out of it, so... Let's Maybe it didn't have time to get up. Okay. Pretty dumb. Probably. If the aloe so got bit though, it would have had a broken leg right away. Oh, right. Because they have leg right, breaking right. now. How big are we compared to the aloe? Pretty big. We're, like, pretty we're a bit bigger. bigger. We look like we're a bit bigger. Mm -hmm. But we do the same. Yeah. If he did 100 damage to you in one bite, well, then he uh, he's same weight class. Watch out behind yeah. you. What? Oh. Oh, what the heck? What the? F How the fuck did you bite me? A, yeah, <laughs> it's a hero. Yeah, stop bite it. Get it off me! It's probably that Rex. He's like a parasite. Oh, it no, no, no. It's probably the aloe. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh, these. How in the fuck? He's watching me fail like a really right He's after me. Just, I don't know why. Just run straight. I think you're faster than it. No. No, we're not. He's gonna bite your oh booty. Oh my gosh. Ant, what are you doing? Jesus. Oh. I got you. Oh, it was the aloe. <laughs> <laughs> Salty. <laughs> I'll just chill in the water. Maybe that's the sub- or maybe that's the adult Rex. It probably is. Please don't bite my booty. <laughs> that was- oh, that might be the adult Rex. Yeah. Want me to kill it? No. Yeah, I think that's the adult Rex. I think so too. Wait, why are you still bleeding? I killed it. It was me. I swear. It really was me. <laughs> I think it's trying to show us. <laughs> yeah, it's like, this is what this happened. Is what ha <laughs> 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 it's like, we know we're nodding and shit. We're sorry for your loss. We're gathered here today to celebrate the life. <laughs> Of this grizzly thing. You mean I don't the know death? What, what do people say at funerals? Grizzly. I mean, do they water? He's trying to tell the story now again. <laughs> He's what? trying to tell the story again. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's like this thing ate me. I was at Adult Rex and this Allosaurus killed me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, he's actually biting at it. <laughs> Meanwhile, me and Spooky were running, trying to catch up. And I killed him. You got Spooky over here trying to blow snot bubbles. Ew. <laughs> snorting coke. Oh. Okay, Scarface. <laughs> Jordan Mountains are cocaine. <laughs> what the fuck? They have the crevice? Oh my... Um... What? 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 What the okay. what the shit? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! What a what a position to be that dead in. That's the saddest thing I've ever. Seen. Oh my god! That's the saddest thing I've ever seen, though. Oh my god! It looks like a fetus that was abandoned. What happened? Here? Oh my oh god. god! That's horrifying. <laughs> he suicided. Do you see that? <laughs> he took know. his <laughs> private stash. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Once corpse, cor corpse striking comes into play, I'm finding like the best place. Wait, How did that happen? <laughs> That's incredible. I think he was running and then he kind of just like fell. I don't know. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> I was like, oh, they're hiding in here. And then I see a freaking dead juvie. I'm like, oh, that's oh my so god. Mm -hmm. I guess we know what, what brother died. <laughs> He just brought him into like the slaughterhouse. I can't find it. that was amazing. Yeah, that's like super age right there. What? What the fuck? 
Bro code, run! God damn it. <laughs> Cease, you're like money. Very expendable? No, nope, you've been in everyone's pants and who knows oh! who's you. <laughs> oh, wow. shit! Holy crap. I'm sorry, I had to say that out. one. Bro code, get out. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't even mad, though. That was a good one. <laughs> Does this mean we're bank security guards? Oh, no. yep. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> <Just> <laughs> Fucking wrecked. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. We're like those people who work at like- Watch out, the oh, ATM's no. mad. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the what? We're being, Nothing. We're being attacked. No! <laughs> no, we're like those people that transfer money from banks. Being robbed. Moving from Marsh Bank to Trips Bank, we gotta transfer this money. You're a dollar bill I don't want. <laughs> oh no! Oh shit! Ow, ow. You got bit. Oh shit! Eh? <laughs> what if these guys are in disc? Why are they both looking at me? That's. <laughs> He's the weak one. Know. We gotta get the weak one. They're just like secretly plotting, turning on us. I know, right? We'll get the weak one first, and then get the other two plebs. Alrighty, so the sub-adult progression is going according to plan. No one has died, and that's going pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead now and show you guys the concepts for the longhouse. So, obviously, really big structures. You can see in the top left, it's like a giant... It's like a thatched structure. I don't think it's going to really save you from, like, any creatures that want to eat the shit out of you, but it's going to at least, like, protect you from probably rain and... and and rain, maybe snow if there's ever snow in the aisle. I don't know. Is there going to be snow in the aisle? I don't know if there's going to be snow or not. I'm, I, maybe there's going to be season. I, I don't know. Guys, I have no idea. But either way, these structures are going to be cool. They'll probably offer some shelter from, like, smaller creatures. But, like, obviously a T-Rex would probably take a chunk out of the wall of that thing, like, instantly. You see on the right, there's, like, a skull up on top of it. I don't know if that skull's on fire or what's going on with it. Or maybe there's just, like, some decoration around it. And then you can see, like, a, I'm pretty sure it's, like, a fire in the background. So there's some kind of, like, cooking station there or something. Bottom left, you can see another fortification that looks like it's made out of wood now instead of, uh, instead of, like, thatch. And, uh... It looks pretty freaking cool. They look like they're going to be really big structures because you, you can see the scale compared to, um, compared to, like, a human. You can see the human there, obviously. And, like, these buildings are going to be massive as shit. And then, obviously, we have one that's, like, it looks like it's made out of the ribcage or something, to be honest with you. Or at least the ribcage of something was used to create the beginning opening of it. And then it has, like... I think that's like some kind of tarp or maybe hide like from different dinosaurs and shit thrown over like bone spikes That actually looks really freaking cool But it's probably the least protected because uh, well obviously it's just some leather and and hide and stuff Probably that's that's all around and then the walls are open and stuff But they look really cool and primitive But I hope there is some kind of structure that you can make that can somewhat combat bigger creatures from getting in or at least hold them off a little bit before they get to you. Let me know your thoughts on this, you guys, and uh, let's move into the next picture. So this right here is the concept for the tree tower. There's level one, two, three, and four, and uh, obviously they they look more like trees. So I'm like from what I'm seeing here on the top one, uh, on the top left, you can see like it's a tree, and obviously it's been cut out at a certain spot, and uh, you can climb up into that, and you have like leaves and stuff around. It's really, really like really just the essence of tribal and cannibalistic stuff going on, and it looks really freaking cool, actually. <laughs> I think it'd be kind of cool if you were up in one of these and it was higher than a T-Rex and you could just taunt it like, but it would be your only safe haven. So like if you start getting hungry or thirsty as a human, you're basically boned unless you can wait the T-Rex out. And that would be really scary, especially if the T-Rex could damage the, uh, damage the tower too. That would suck a lot. Or like if a creature could get up there or maybe like, uh, um, I don't know, a Quetz was flying by and it wanted you. Well, I mean, maybe it could swoop down and get you. Then you can see on the left or uh, not on the left, on the right, there's like a hammock styled I don't even know how- how would you even get up on top of that? Maybe that's just like a structure to cover stuff around you. I don't know. I don't know what to think about that. You guys let me know what you think about that in the comment section below. Uh, bottom left, you can see there is one with like a giant spike. I think- is that giant spike like some kind of defense or something? Or what the shit is that? I have no idea what the hell that's for. Huh, you guys let me know your thoughts on that as well. There's lots of spikes around it at least, so it would keep things from climbing up. You can see the spikes pointing down to avoid like raptors or anything else being able to climb up the walls or jump up the walls. You'd probably get impaled on it and killed almost instantly by those freaking spikes. And then finally, the last one on the very right, bottom right, you can see tarps and it's the most, it looks like it's the most sophisticated and well defended. It has a bunch of spikes all around it, sharp pointy sticks, different things going on. The uh, trunk of the tree seems to be a little bit more fortified with rope and stuff. And you can see there is like 
hide and stuff, covering the top part where you would be standing and uh, and all that fun stuff. So, I mean, it looks like that's the most advanced one. The top left one is kind of like the, the lowest tier and stuff. I mean, it makes sense. Uh, I feel like there should be some addition to this, but you guys let me know what your thoughts are on this. I think it's a cool concept, and it's something completely different from anything I've seen in games yet. And finally, we have concepts for the wall. So, first one, you see spikes, and uh, there's skulls impaled on them. There's a simple entry. Um, there's minor, minor game skulls, basically, and stuff is what it's saying for that. Number two, you can see an arch covering the doorway this time. You have some let. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. You can see there's going to be a light source, and it's going to be like a fire inside this, like wood thing or maybe this made out of bone i don't know there's a bunch of piles of bone or bones on the bottom so that will probably be like a deterrent for humans or you know whatever you are from going in there and it's probably like a, a maybe like a intimidation factor or some shit and then the third one obviously tree branches are being used now to uh fortify it a little bit there's skulls hanging all over the entry which again another fortification but if i was if i was to choose what one was the highest tier i'd say the middle one to be honest with you because it looks like it has the most stuff done to it i mean it's cool to have the tree branches and stuff but I mean, at the end of the day, they're only tree branches compared to having, like, awesome, like, lights and stuff and lots of skulls all over the place. Maybe if you could hang the skulls from, like, the arch, too, that'd be kind of cool. Hmm. I don't know. Either way, you guys, that is it for the wall concepts that I have uh, I have on this. Actually, actually that's it for all, this, all the screenshots and stuff I have for you guys. Let me know what your thoughts are. Uh, if you have any questions... Leave them down below. I'll uh, I'll forward some to Dondi uh, if I if I like some of the questions that I see. My stuttering needs to stop because I'm tired of stuttering. And uh, yeah, let's just get back into the gameplay. Damn, <laughs> that's a lot of blood. Holy shit! Oh no, <laughs> that's a lot of water. It's just like Niagara Falls again. <laughs> Holy god. Hey, uh, I was just going through my editing and I wanted to leave this little part in here for you guys. Just a little bit of information about the Hyporex because, uh, yeah, you guys should know that one, it was downsized, two, its weight class was reduced one tier. So, uh, actually, it's been shown and I've seen it happen where an adult Rex can currently kill a Hyporex. What happens is the adult Rex bites the shit out of its ankle, breaks, it, breaks its leg, and then basically ass rides it the entire time biting its ankle uh, until it dies. So, if you're a Hyporex or somehow become a Hyporex because obviously hack servers are a thing and they're able to spawn in as whatever, uh, if you are one, you can die from a T-Rex. Don't let anything at all get behind you because you will not be safe if it can make you limp. Just wanted to throw that in here, guys. Let's keep going. Okay. Stop! <laughs> your, your lunch first. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, no. No, 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 oh, no. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Shit, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this isn't a good time. <laughs> oh no. Wait, hang on. Oh. oh I got it. Yay. Oh, I'm sliding out. Oh I, wow, it's like I was just giving birth to. <laughs> That's <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> shut up. You're not funny. <laughs> no 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 no. <laughs> I'm slightly faster! Ah! Oh, just fuck! <laughs> <laughs> A lot is happening right now. Oh my god! This is like... <laughs> this is torture. Ah! God damn it! I'm like, the same speed! <laughs> oh shit, I got stuck on the hippo's butt- YES! <laughs> Sucker! Okay, we're good. Run! Oh god! <laughs> oh god! Oh no, not me, not me, not me, not me, not me, not me! Wee! I'm out. Oh, we're going through trees that they can't get. Oh shit. Okay. <laughs> That's tree. <laughs> you like one of those trees you couldn't get through? <laughs> no! <laughs> yeah, you got net. Oh shit, the hypo's coming for me. Oh no! <laughs> I did it, mom. Ah. Screw you. <laughs> ah, jukes. <laughs> the jukes. No, no, no. Turn around. Turn around. Uh oh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> ah shit. Tragic. Oh my god. <gasps> Three for Ow! the price of one. Yeah. Oh. All right, you guys, so that is it for this video on the Sebadol Rex. The next episode will be being an adult 
I think I might have lied in the beginning of this episode. I might only have two videos because I had to trash an entire, like, three hour long recording because of unforeseen circumstances. Shit happens. It happens, but. <laughs> God, it was such a shit show to piece this together to make an entire video, but I had to make it happen because I had nothing else pre-recorded. Either way, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to leave a like. It helps me out a ton, and I appreciate it an absolute dick ton. If you're new to the channel, why not consider subscribing? And I will see you in the next video. Sound and another